Doesn't this show that the current way of treating crime is working? In my opinion, no. If you ask Uncle Sam Cedar, my real uncle, my true uncle, he will tell you that it's lead poisoning that caused this level of crime because there's no other way to factor into consideration a global decline in uh, crime without any serious decline in poverty. Are you saying there's less lead poisoning? Yes. Some 9.2 million lead pipes carry water into the homes across the U.S. with more in Florida than any other state. Oh my God. Bro, this literally... Oh my God, this explains so much. What the fuck? This literally... Oh my God, this literally explains Florida. We just cracked the fucking code. Remember when I used to say, I think there's something in the fucking water in Florida? Well, turns out I was right. That something is lead. This sounds like a crazy conspiracy theory, but it makes so much sense. So the, the lead take is not a unique one to Sam Cedar. Uh, lead poisoning and lead contamination in uh, gasoline is what many people account the, the like lost generation that was significantly more violent. Like an unprecedented amount of violence was seen in one particular generation. All of those fucking crazy Trump kooks that you see. It's not really a conspiracy theory. Uh, all of the crazy Trump kooks that you see that are in like a certain age range, they all are from that lead generation. Gen X was the most lead poison generation. The peak of crime was when they hit early adulthood. Yeah. Uh, by the way, there was a complete lead pipe replacement plan and build back better and got blocked by mansion and cinema. Only cost 50 billion for the whole country. We spent $850 billion on the Pentagon each year. Seems like too much. <sighs> More lead data lines up with your take. Oh, yeah, this is my favorite. I I've literally looked at this before. Yeah, here, look, 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 look. Although looking at this lead chart, you can see why even being a few years older, I graduated in 1998, meant much shittier people. My birth year is 1980 circled, but by 81, look at that drop. This is distributing childhood blood lead levels by age in the United States. Lead was in the paint chips. Lead was in the gasoline. Probably in the pipes, too, I suspect. Which hasn't really gone away. Yeah. Now... Instead of lead poisoning, we have microplastics that we need to worry about. Which is also fucking up uh, our hormones. But this generation will be known, the Zoomers are, will be known as the microplastic generation. Or the PFAS generation. Forever chemicals. Just like Gen X was... Uh, noticeably lead poison we will be noticeably uh, microplastics poison stupid question what does lead poisoning do it's not a stupid question that's actually a very good question lead poisoning leads to aggressive uncontrollable and oftentimes violent behavior Some people believe that um, 
this could have been a a a, a decline in in uh, the Roman Empire as well. Impact of lead in children in the Roman Empire, but obviously Roman Empire spanned across a very long uh, uh, timeline. So a lot of uh, you know a lot of speculation. has been made on this issue. This is a 10-year-old, more than 10-year-old article uh, talking about how lead could potentially be a, a cause for violent crime. It's, it's the only consistent principle that they've found in numerous countries. Uh, all other factors controlled. Still, the new latest meta-analysis shows lead poisoning could have only contributed to a uh, 28% drop in violent crime rate. The rest of it is still unexplained. I mean, That's an insane number, dude. What the fuck? There is no planet in which, like, any kind of sociological component leads to a 28% increase or decrease where you go only 28%. That is literally the most considerable factor that you will ever conclusively point to. If a meta-analysis shows it leads to a 28% decrease in anything, then that is the sole contributor. 28% drop can be explained by lead poisoning. That's what I'm saying. That's a gigantic fucking drop. Oh, 28% of the drop can be explained by lead poisoning. Oh, I misunderstood. I don't know. Still significant. But regardless. Still massive. My mom was a Gen Xer. She said there was even lead testing sheets at schools in the 80s. Lead from gasoline blunted the IQ of half the U.S. population. Study says leaded gas was banned in 1996, but exposure to poison cost people born before then several IQ points on average, researchers estimated. And this is like a super... This is something that have, uh, has been studied. It's a, it's a super common theory. It's the, the reason why I brought it up now is because... Sorry. It's a super, co super common theory, and the reason why I brought it up now in this circumstance is because at the top of the hour there's a three minute ad break and if you no longer want to be poisoned by that all you need to do is subscribe which you can do for five dollars or for free with a twitch prime by connecting your amazon prime account to your twitch account where you get one pre free prime subscription a month use it on your favorite broadcaster hopefully that's me i don't want to poison your experience with the top of the hour ad break contaminants but like I said, you can avoid the top of the hour ad break contaminants by subscribing for $5 or for free. The effect on Baltimore. Here's the three minute ad break now. Nessa Beavers, thank you for the five, get the subs.
Studies between CD states and nations show that the rise and fall in crime follows with a roughly 20-year lag, the rise and fall in the exposure of infants to trace quantities of lead. But all that gives us is correlation, an association that can be coincidental. Mother Jones' article, which is based on several scientific papers, claimed causation. I began by reading the papers. Do they say what the article claims? They do. Then I looked up the citations, discussions of those papers in the scientific literature. The three whose citations I checked have been mentioned between them 301 times. To my astonishment, I could find just one study attacking the thesis, and this was sponsored by the Ethyl Corporation, which happens to be a major manufacturer of the petrol additive tetraethyl lead. I found many more supporting it. Crazy as this seems, I really, it really does look as if lead poisoning could be the major cause of rise and fall of violent crime. 